Guess what we're doing today? Airbrush brows. Yes, yes, yes. We are doing our airbrush brows today. So we, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. So I am Heather. We come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, 10 30 a.m. Central Time. And it's a way to talk luminous. Um, if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you're struggling with something, if you have a question about a product, that's what these are for. Um, so make sure you jump in and ask me questions. Um, utilize me. That, again, that's why we're doing these. That's why we do these every day. Um, good morning, Pam. Um, let, we always go over the basics. So we know that people either watch it live or watch it later. Um, and we know that they're all at different levels. So we always cover the beginning, like what you get in your kit, how to start utilizing um, and things like that. So, hey, Jeannie. Um, so let's go over real quick one of our starter kits. I need to change this with the breeze. This is our icon. We also have the icon pro and the legend. But of course, we now have the breeze, which is our cordless chargeable uh, system, which is amazing. And you'll love it. Um, and then it comes with two bottles of foundation that are similar in color. Um, so you can have you know you can perfectly match your skin tone and then it does come with love which is a hydrating illuminator it's going to give your skin some luminosity but it does kind of grab the light and just give you got that young youthful luminosity to your skin and then the blush we know is very high pigmented so a little bit goes a long way you only need two drops if you use more than two drops what's going to happen what's going to happen you're going to look crazy and we don't want that. So two drops and that's it. So when you first start out, we want to make sure you keep it four finger widths away. I'm going to use the other one because I think most of us have the breeze now. Four finger widths away. You want to keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. It's not a race. It's not a free for all. You're not just bleh, 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 bleh. it's you're moving around the face, moving around, moving around. You're never in one spot twice, but there is overlap when uh, when applying the makeup. And then you're going to lightly, 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 lightly pull back on this trigger. There is not a lot of difference from here to here. So you have to find that sweet spot on pulling back on the trigger. Um, one thing I recommend is put a couple of drops, like maybe five drops of um, foundation in here. And then use a paper towel and make your movements. Keep it four finger widths away and have that um, have that foundation foundation show up gradually on your paper towel that way you really do get to see it because it is a matter of um, kind of retraining our brains into thinking luminous and thinking airbrush versus traditional makeup okay so let's get started with the brows um good morning good morning um so i have grabbed the brown we we'll also have the blonde uh, which is, hey, Amber, good morning. How are you? And the brown is, the brown and the uh, blonde are, you know, blondes, it's not blonde, 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 if that makes sense. <laughs> hey, Lindy. So there, you, you see, that's blonde, and this is brown. Now, also notice, I haven't used this one in a while, the one here. And you can see that that color is still at the bottom. So I need to shake this up very, very, very well. Um, any of our products, you have to shake up. If you haven't used something in a while, um, it, you do get settling. So uh, because our makeup is water and mineral based, you will have that separation. And I'm going to show you the difference. This is the foundation I use here every single day. So you see that separation. So just in a matter of one day time, you, you need to to um, to mix it. So every time you're going to shake it. So with this this pigment, because it is a heavier pigment, um, there's definitely going to be some separation or some settling. So you want to make sure to to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, don't break it. Um, just to make sure that all that pigment gets really mixed in. You can hear the BB in there. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to make sure that I do shake this up very well. 
Now, when you order the brow system, it does come with different stencils. I think there's about seven or eight. I probably have like 20 here because I've collected them. Um, I know, and you can hold them up and like kind of hold them to your brow, or you can even get the shape that you want. I'm usually between, I, I fluctuate between a three and a four. Some of these have numbers on them. Now they have numbers on them because you can also order just once you figure out what number you are, you can um, just order that one as well. Um, so I'm just going through these. See where my four is. There's my four. Is that a, the one I usually use? That doesn't look right. It's this one. Three. The three. The three is the and also hello stephanie how are you also know that it does not have to be hello christina it does not have to be the perfect match for your brow um good morning denise the other thing is you know we've seen some of these where you can like lay the stencil down and you kind of stipple it with some color or whatever with these you're not going to lay it you're not laying it flat to your face and doing it this way um you really again have a lot of wiggle room when it comes to airbrushing brows so i hold it by the very end of my little stencil and i match it up i spray because i'm doing it from here to here to the arch and then the arch from the tail so i'll go in and do this and then i change it and i'm very delicately holding it I'm bam, 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 bam. I do not have to be like, uh, you don't have to press it, um, you know, strongly against your face. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. You know what? Let's use, maybe we'll use this one so I don't have to worry about cleaning it between. Um, all right. So I'm shaking, 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 shaking. And then I'm going in, putting a couple of drops of the brown airbrush and guys this is called uh, brow and root so you can do your brows and then you can do your roots i have gotten to the point where like the day after i get i mean the day of getting my hair done i still use this in my roots because i don't like seeing my scalp period uh, i think it makes my hair look fuller and so i don't where my part is is right where i use it um and so I almost use it every day because I also, um, I left these right here, these grays. Um, so we can cover those as well. And I can show you how oh, amazing. I've been great, Stephanie. So good to see you. All right. So now we have our stencil and this is the number four. Again, does not have to be perfect. Uh, the perfect shape for your brow. I like mine actually a little thicker and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I am going to move this guy over here so I can see a little bit better um so I'm gonna start from the oh wait let's go over this real quick um when doing brows your brow I wish I had some thinner oh we'll use this um your brow should start here the arch here so it's I'm holding everything to the corner of my nose. So straight up, that's where it starts. So still on the corner of my nose and then going, looking straight ahead, look, uh, it crosses the iris, the color of my eye. That's where your arch should be. And then sticking to the side of the nose, go to the outside of the eye and that's where it ends. So notice I'm gonna have to kind of extend my brow a little bit too. So that's just a good guideline um of how to do your brows or get in the shape i am thank you christina all right so taking this going in a little bit and i do come in a little bit closer um just because i'm focusing straight on this opening of the stencil but you don't have to worry about anything because the overspray because the stencil is going to collect it So 
So lightly, lightly spraying. I keep moving, keep moving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the end. Well, no, I'm going to show you this. But look at that. Is that not amazing? Now, because I want to show you that you don't have to, it doesn't have to be like right worried about being exact. See? Bam. Look how easy that is. Now, like I said before, I like mine a little thicker. So there is a couple of things that I can do to, to make them thicker. So one th the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the front and raise this up a little bit. And then I'm, make, I'm making a mistake because I want to show you. Okay. Now, if you saw this, you'd be like, oh, what the heck? I'm going to mess up. No, take a Q-tip. This is a little bit too thick. I'm going to go down here. Of course, I did way too high here. And just clean it up. That's all you have to do. Clean it up. And I'm done. I'm done. Okay. So I want to tweak the inside here a little bit. This is the brown or the, yeah. Um, oh no. Yeah, I can, I can see you, Martin. Um, okay. I was like, did I miss something? So I can go back and do that. But if you, if you mess up, don't worry about it guys. When I always tell you, that the airbrush makeup is very forgiving, but you can go back if I need to tweak them a little bit and you know how I like to tweak it. I can go back with the duo, this one and square off that a little bit. I kind of build up. And tweak that. Now, I don't like this little pointy point point. So what do I do? I just take it off there. And then you can go back. Do I have a mascara one? Seeing if I had it like a spoolie, um, but you can go back with a mascara one, like a clean mascara one, just a spoolie, or I can take my eyebrow brush and brush through And it's going to soften it. Do you always do your brows before your foundation? I do. I do. Um, to me, doing my brows um, first gives me, it's almost like color in between the lines. It, it gives me my start. Because airbrush makeup is so, for, I mean, airbrush makeup is so precise. And you see me every day. I have my brows on. It doesn't get into, you know, it doesn't get on my, on the eyebrows when I airbrush. Um, it's very precise, but for me, it gauges how I'm putting my makeup on. I definitely will do it before eyeshadow for sure. I'm going to do my eyebrow, eyebrows before eyeshadow. Um, but it really does give me a kind of a guide for everything. So I can brush through it again to soften if I wanted to. That's why I kind of like the spoolie better. Um, and you know what I'm talking, it's the mascara. It looks like a mascara one, but it's just clean. Um, I thought I had one somewhere. I like those a little bit better than this because I feel like I can really soften that up a little bit. Again, just depends on you. So now doing the other side, wasn't that easy? Was that not easy, guys? So now I'm going to clean this off because I'm going to flip it, obviously. So you definitely want to clean it off. So, because if you lay it down without cleaning it, you're going to get the overspray on the side. Um, the other reason I like these, and, and this is something we thought about during the COVID and the COVID and being uh, where we couldn't be out, um, is it was a great way to touch up your eyebrows. We couldn't go get our eyebrows done. So you could do your eyebrow the way you want it, you know, wanted it. If you wanted the shape, you could do it and then pluck and um, tweeze around that. Uh, so it made things a lot easier. 
All right, so now I'm going to grab it by the top because I'm switching hands, lining it up, lightly spraying, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like that. I might need to add a couple of more drops. Getting my arch. Get, let's extend this a little bit more. There's a little black mark there, so I'm just going to wipe that off. I'm going to extend it up a little bit. Okay. So there's, I mean, you might be good with this. It's like you're done. Bam. Again, depending on the style or what's new, um, I like mine a little thicker. And so, again, I can go right on top. Square that off a little bit. And make sure they're the length I need them. I like that one better. But also remember, guys, eyebrows, um, easy peasy. Yeah, exactly. Eyebrows are cousins or sisters, not twins. So they do not have to look alike. Uh, they do not have to be exact. So if you get them close, that's okay. And there's always going to be one that you like better than the other. Um, the way mine are shaped right now, there's a little bit of a shadow right here, or maybe I need to pluck down here a little bit more, but I always get this, um, I don't know, it's this funky shape right here. So I probably need to pluck down here a little bit more to thin this one out because I definitely like that one better. The other thing is you do always want to fill from the top, not the bottom, as if at all possible. So you saw me do this because I'm making them thicker. You saw me do this and not down here. Now, this one I did because I have to fix that little funky funk funk. But if you feel if you start doing it from the bottom, you're going to um, it'll bring your eye down. And so being that I almost have hooded eyes, I don't want to do that. Um, it's definitely I don't I do not want to bring my eyes down that makes sense. Okay. Easy stuff. Y'all can do it. I know. I know you can. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and do my eyes first. So I'm going to take my nude and naughty palette. I'm going to do a simple look. Um, probably similar to what we did yesterday. I'm going to go in with a matte color on the inside up to the brow bone. Just fill in that. Lock so, and then I'll take a blending brush. Um, <laughs> let's just let's go for this mauvey color. And blending, and we're blending, and we're blending. And then I'm gonna go over here and blend and blend. The first time I'm doing this, I kind of I'm just putting it on. So yes, I'm blending, but I'm just kind of getting most of the color like on and then I can really start blending. Um, uh, Christina, yeah, you could tape it. You definitely could tape it and you might end up liking it because of the fact that if you're going to airbrush them on, you have um, the stencils going to help with overspray. Um, so you, you could for sure. So notice that I have most of the color there. Now I can go in and blend this out. And just blend and blend and blend to make it as soft or as, uh, you know, I can add more if I wanted to, or bring it over more, all depending on your eye shape or the look that you are wanting. So two colors of, of eyeshadow is all I'm using right now. That's it. That's it. Send me a pic, Martin. Yeah, you can always send me a pic. Okay, so now the, the good thing about doing eyes before, if you did anything uh, with a shimmer and it fell, like if I wanted to add a little bit of, 
let's do this one. See what that one does. Right here. If anything fell underneath, ouch, underneath, I could clean it up because I haven't done any foundation or anything or any pre-coverage. Um, and so I'm able just to go from there. So I'm going straight to the breeze and straight to my foundation, shade three. And then just starting in one spot, make my moves, going around, going under my eyes, lightly pulling back. Remember, you don't want to see it go on. And you can um, just keep going. And then if I wanted to, normally this is something I do before, but I can add glow. Yay, I know I love red lips. I can add glow now. And just keep going until I get it to where I want it. And that gave me some highlight. I can go in and do some blush. I'm gonna do, is this the natural blush? No. Nope. Let's do some natural blush, which is natural. It gives a little bit of a shimmer. And this one doesn't bloom as much, so you do have a little more playtime with that. A little bit there. Actually, I think I'm going to add, because it's, it's super natural. I'm going to add a little bit. Let's see what this is. Might be soft rose. Maybe just one drop. Ah, Christina's loving the rose gold. I just added a little bit of so, uh, rose, the soft rose right at my cheeks just to make it a little bit um a little bit a little bit of color a little bit of color and so then all i have to do are lips and my brows and then i'm done i don't have i, I mean i'm good going out like this right let's see what else oh let's see this one let's do this is ballet pink which i haven't used in a while I love this color. And there you go. And I'm done. I'm going to go finish my mascara and then I am done for the day. So guys, check out our, uh, the airbrush brows. It really is amazing. Um, I think you, it's, it is easy. Um, you don't have to press it really strong. You can tape it if you need to, uh, still a lot of wiggle room there. Um, it catches the overspray. So definitely check out the root and brow. Um, and then you can also use it in your roots. So there you go. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.